Hi everyone, in the last video we used find view by id to change the text in the button and in this video we will implement on click listener to change the text in the text view. So let's start. First open the project that was created in previous video. Then open main activity. I'm going to delete this here. To know when the button is getting clicked, we can set a on click listener. Here I will set on click listener on roll button. On click listener gets triggered whenever the button is clicked. To make sure that it is working, I will show a toast here. Toast is a message that pops up in our screen for a short time. I'm going to use it here to show you that something is visually changing when the button is clicked. To create a toast, just call toast dot make text. And the method requires three things, a class called context, the actual message that you want to show and then the duration for which you want to show the message. Let's focus on context object first. The context object allows us to communicate with and get information about the current state of the Android OS. The main activity is a subclass of the context and the toast needs the context to somehow tell the operating system to display the toast and since our activity is a context you can type this here I will keep the message simple like button clicked finally we have to add the duration here I will add toast dot length short if you want you can also add length to be long which will uh, be a longer duration toast message but we want a short message here so I will select length short at the end just add dot show to actually show the toast message and now I'm going to run the app to show you if the toast is showing or not and now we can check our app by clicking this roll button and as expected the toast appears and fades away this is what we expected now let's go ahead and change this text view whenever the button is clicked for this i will open activity main.xml and i will add a id to the text view called result underscore text once we have this id we can refer it to our kotlin code in the main activity let me just close this window here in the main activity i will delete the line which was showing the toast and i will add a method called roll dice This is actually the method that will be called whenever we click the button. I am adding the method here so I can write all of the logic for rolling the dice there. Now I can manually write the function but Android Studio has lot of shortcuts. If I select this function, here in the red bulb you can see a option of creating a function. But there is an even faster way of doing this that is keyboard shortcuts. If you are in Windows or Linux, you can click Alt Enter and if you are in Mac, you can click Option Enter and then you can select Create Function directly from here. So as you can see, Android Studio has created a function for us. Now I am going to create a variable called Result Text. Which will be a text view and I will set it equal to find view by id and here I will pass the id that we created in activity main.xml which is result underscore text 
now that we have reference to the text view we can actually modify it i'm going to change the text of this text view to dice rolled and now if i run the app and click the roll button the text is getting changed to dice rolled which is good so now let's add some randomness to the app just like a dice roller going back to the dice roller method we need in some way to pick a random value between 1 and 6 and picking a random value is not a and specific thing in fact we can use a class called random to do this calling random dot next int and passing 6 will give us a random number between 0 to 5 and then all we have to do is add 1 to it which will give us a random number between 1 to 6 I'm going to go ahead and set it to a variable and then I'm going to go down here and change it to the variable that we just created which is random int then I'm going to call to string to this variable which will change this to a string as expected okay now let's run our app so now if you click the roll button you will get a random number between 1 to 6 nice work now we have a functional dice roller app so that's it for now if you are facing any Android related problems, feel free to reach me out in my Discord server. You can find the joining link in the description below. And if you like this video and want to watch more programming videos like this, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. And see you in the next video.